Hey guys, welcome back to my old tractor shed. Not a whole lot going on today. Cleaning, getting ready to do some painting. I have to go get some more paint. I want to get all these little connecting rods. Everything seized. I'm gonna to have to heat these all up and get them free. I gotta weld, fix this one or go find another one. Um, and then I can get ready to paint. But this is my main project for today. Not a big project. I'm gonna to have to heat these up and get the nuts off. And I think I'm gonna heat this up and put it in the press. This is that seized up uh, brake arm on the left side of the tractor, which I think is, well, either that or the parking brake stuck, one or the other, that cooked, cooked those brake pads. Anyway, doesn't matter. I have to get that off, free it up, because that's not right. And then I gotta take this apart. The little button, it doesn't really come out of there with the time. It does work, um, just barely. Uh, so yeah, I wanna get this all apart, clean it up, see what the deal is with that. Get it apart, get it painted. Um, this is tight, no doubt about that. I did put some penetrating oil on it. I actually haven't tried it with this yet. Maybe, maybe. We'll just give it a quick try before we get the heat out. No, we're wasting our time. Let's put a little bit of heat on that and then we'll get that apart. Piece of cake. Spring behind there. <laughs> but not so bad. Just want to put them on there so I don't burn my plywood. That's bent, it'll need to be straightened. I'll let that cool off for a minute and then uh, get that spring out of there and then we'll press that. Gotta let that cool a little bit. We got a little washer, a little cotter pin. I think uh, I can probably stay. I'm gonna have to no, just straighten that, no big deal. Okay, I'm gonna take a couple cotter pins out of here. That's got a pin there. That pin's got to go down, but that's going to have to come off first. I've got a screw clip there. Let's get that clip off. still warm. Heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> okay. Now, that pin there wants to come out. Joy juice. So we'll straighten that in a minute. Now, you know, there's just a lot of there's a lot of slop. Uh, I don't think I can get it in the camera. There's a, well, we'll get it apart. There's a hook, there's a hook on the end of that. 
connects to this little dog and there's a quite a bit of I don't think that's I don't think that's all of my problem but there is quite a bit and there's another spring I hate springs okay well cotter pin let's take the cotter pin out that's first step straighten those I'm going to grab a couple pictures of that. Pretty simple, but it's going to be a few months. I can guarantee it. Just looking how the spring goes. There's a little dog there and the spring goes behind that. Another washer. Put that all back exactly how it has to go and I'm going to grab another picture of that as well. And then that goes on there. This, it's a roll pin that this here thing here, oops, where's that camera, that this goes on to. And you can see there's some, try and get that in the middle, Rope that rod hooks onto that roll pin. It certainly isn't all of my problem, but it's some of the problem. Um, this looks like it's probably threaded. It's definitely coming out. I don't think it's threaded though. No, it's not threaded. I'm going to put that back on for now. Um, think about that for a minute. Okay, I'm going to, let me wash this all up and then I'll bring you guys back. All right guys, I've washed everything up and I just actually kind of temporarily put it back together and I've been playing with it. Um, I had pulled that knob out on the rod, just it's still not attached proper. I'm thinking some epoxy and I've got that slop. Let me go to this camera here. Where's the thing? You can see probably a quarter inch. Um, on that pin. I'm thinking maybe I can make a, a little bushing or something there, but it is working. Um, but uh, every time I press that little knob, of course that rod is, is sliding further inside, so I'm thinking some epoxy there. But anyway, I think we'll take it back apart and I'll look at maybe putting a little bushing on there and then I think uh, we'll straighten out this threaded piece first. So let me take this thing back apart one more time. So, get rid of that washer. Yeah, let me show that camera. So there's a roll pin there. I don't know if you can see. A substantial amount of wear. And so on there, uh, you know, it's got quite a bit of slop. So I was thinking initially I could take this and just put it in the vise or take a pair of pliers and maybe squeeze it down. And then I was looking at my various roll pins here and I'm reasonably certain I could find a roll pin that's going to work. But I'm kind of thinking at the moment, I've got lots of different plastic pipe. Perhaps, perhaps I can just find a little sleeve and put on there. It would probably wear better than having metal on metal. And then at the same time, this end here, 
I think what I'm going to do is just put some epoxy in there um, and stop this rod from sliding in too far. But uh, I think first we'll get this in the vise and we'll get that straightened. So let me rearrange these cameras and we'll get this job done. Not real hard. Put some heat on there, put the nuts on to protect the threads, and then just take a crescent wrench. And I think that's about all that needs. I'm just going to simply leave that sit there and cool, and I'm going to go on to uh, pressing that shaft out of that arm. So I'm going to take this over to the press. I think what I'm going to do is clean up the top of this first with the wire wheel and put a little penny oil on it and just see if I can press it out without heat first. I think one of my favorite tools for this kind of work is a bench grinder with a wire wheel. So got that all cleaned up, put a little bit of joy juice on there and then we'll go get it set up in the press and see if I can get that to move. If not, I'll put some heat on it, but we'll try it without heat first. All right, I've got it supported in the press. Well, just a matter of finding something. That one there is too long. I've got several of these things here. I think that'll work. Just gotta let the, let the jack up a little bit. And we'll see. We'll see if I can just get that to move first. Oh, yeah. No problem. I gotta find something smaller there now, but I just wanted to see if I could get it to go first. I know you're not supposed to use sockets for this, but they do work so, so well. And I think I'm out of jack. <laughs> I am. I gotta put another spacer in there. Not a lot of pressure on here. I actually only have an eight ton jack on this press. So that's not, not real tight. Let's see if I can catch, catch the shaft. Not too difficult at all. Um, there's a hole a couple inches from the end and there's a hole right close to the end. The one that was close to the end was through, was through the thing, through the uh, arm. Let me clean this up and we'll have a closer look at it. So I've washed and cleaned this up and I wire wheeled this little uh, shaft. I might take the grinder, just take, I'm wondering, I was tapping on that a little bit. I wonder if maybe I've just slightly mushroomed it because it, it sure doesn't want to go back in there. I could take, uh, I can probably take an emery cloth to clean that up. I'm just going to take the grinder and just ever so slightly, yeah, yeah, the other end, the other end goes in. I was tapping, you know, and I, I didn't tap it very hard, but I obviously, I tapped it enough. Let me just clean that up. Just took the grinder, just took the edge off and I took a piece of emery cloth and polished that up a little bit. And yeah, now it, it goes just fine. I'll have to get the grease gun out and just make sure that, that grease fitting is good before I put it all back together. But that is fine. Now I'm gonna see what do I do with that little piece right there. There's not a lot of slop. Uh, this camera's still going, yeah. There's not a lot of slop up and down. It's back and forth. You know, there's a little wee tiny bit of wear in the top of that rod, and then I can say there is wear on this roll pin. 
I'm going to look around and see if I can't find something to make a little bushing for that. Um, but anyway, I don't think I'll waste your time with that. Uh, this one, I don't know if I'm going to take this one apart. This one looks a, l a little bit scary. There's a roll pin of sorts in here in this end. And I'm sure this bushing's welded to these. And that's, a, that's one of them springs. Oh, this is a heavy spring. I'm certain you could put this in the press and press that down, take that pin out. But I don't think I really need to. This, I'm really not even 100% sure why they have that spring there, obviously to cushion something. I think I'm just gonna wire wheel that and paint that the way it is. But I'm gonna shut the cameras off. I'm gonna put this one in the vise, heat it up, and get it all apart. And I'm gonna play with that. If I find something really cool, I'll bring you back. Hey guys, we just jumped a couple weeks into the future here, but I wanted to bring you back. Remember that we were playing with this parking brake a couple weeks ago and I was looking for some way of fixing up that slop. Um, I'm just gonna take this back apart. I just, just got it assembled. Let's take it back apart and show you what I've done here. A uh, little dog. Got the spring on there. Take it all back out. So, <clears throat> uh, where's my close-up camera? So this, the, the piece you pressed with your thumb went onto a roll pin on here and it had a quite a bit of play. I actually found a, um, a plastic check valve, very, very hard plastic that fit onto that um, wore out roll pin really, really tight. And then what I did is I, I heated up this end with the torch and then uh, used the center punch to, actually I ended up expanding it ever so slightly and then made it round again and it actually fits pretty snug on there. Works real, real good. So let me try, let me try and reassemble this again. I've been playing with this for a little while with this spring. <laughs> Gonna try my little tripod here, see if I can make this work. Okay, so this spring has to hook on the side opposite to the, the slot. The piece that I put the uh, um, plastic has to go into that slot. So this goes through here, and you don't go all the way through. Oh, you gotta remember the washer, don't forget the washer. Then what I have to do is take a screwdriver and push this spring and get it behind. I, oops, didn't get it. I gotta get it behind the piece that the little thumb rod connects to. Now I gotta bring that back. I got it too far. Lost my spring. Put the spring back. All right, you got to kind of have that that piece there part way. Then the piece that comes from your trigger. And I'm looking at the camera while I'm doing this. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> you got to get that on the end of there. Something like that. And then you press this in. And then what I was doing was I took a screwdriver and I got it behind there and just brought that over. Then we've got to get our washer on here and this washer only actually goes on one way. And that little spring is underneath the washer there right now. I have to just move the spring a little wee bit. There, the washer goes down. Uh, this isn't the right cotter pin, but I'm just going to put this in for now. That goes in there. And voila. Um, I don't know if you remember before, I had a huge amount of play. I'm just touching the button there with my thumb there right now. There's virtually no play at all now. Uh, maybe I won't need the close-up camera. So this is the, this is the check valve that I put in there. And then, I don't know if you remember, this button here, the rod went in there, went in too far. I have some of this, uh, it's just a hard plastic tube. I just cut about a, I don't know, three eighths of an inch and I stuck it inside here and then put the rod in and it left me with uh, the button. The button now doesn't go too far and I didn't glue it. So if I need to change it, I can do it. And I can get that little piece out of there if I have to, but anyway. I'm going to add this to the video from a couple weeks ago, so a little bit of time shuffling here. Sorry about that, but uh, I wanted to let you know that I did find a, a solution for that. So 
let's go back to the past and uh, we'll add this to the video. See ya! Um, I do want to go and finish taking the cross shaft off. I got one brake pedal left on the right hand side of the, the tractor and I think I got the clutch. Clutch pedal is also on one of those brackets. Not sure if that's going to be in this video or a separate video. If it is in this video, I'll see you in a minute. If it's not in this video, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done it, consider subscribing and click that little bell so you know when I post a new video. And if you enjoy hanging out in the shop with me, maybe you want to share it with anybody that you think might, might also enjoy hanging out. Click the like button, leave a comment. Helps the channel out a little bit. Appreciate your time, guys. You take care. We'll talk to you soon. See you next time in my old tractor shed.